Wow, that's the smallest crop pot I've ever seen. It's muddy, it's dirty, but he wants everything. Everything we could possibly get in a box, and uh, he will uh, go through it later. Kathy Cardona and her family are helping her aunt and uncle clean up. It's their first day allowed back on the property. Everything's a complete loss, and you know my, my uncle's been here 36 years. A lot of stuff. It's hard to decide. The hardest part is deciding what to take and what to leave. Some of the family drove for hours just to show their support and help look for things worth keeping. My aunt is, is blind. So um, she uh, keeps asking what it looks like, and you know she can't picture that it's gone and stuff. So when we take her something, you know she wants to feel it. Tina Stevens says so far they've had some luck. I found her jewelry, which was underneath where the wall had caved. So I lifted up the wall, and, and there was a whole bunch of her her heirloom jewelry and stuff there. So we got to give that back to her. Kathy says the family typically rides out a tornado in their bathroom. But this time was different. Uh, they usually get in the tub. Tub's cracked in half. Oh, so man. that's where they usually go, the tub. But this time he said he just heard his voice that told him, get out, go. Is this an air conditioner? Help hasn't come only from the family, but from the community and even strangers. His church people that are here, they've been amazing coming out to help us out. They work today. And just to see everybody, you know, praying for Oklahoma, and that really means a lot to us. And despite the tragedy and loss, the family is staying positive. Uh, like I told my aunt, I said, uh, you're going to get a, a better house. And <laughs> she said, I'm going to get a cellar underneath. <laughs> In more Oklahoma and Hutera, KGNS News.